this in this abandoned coal mine. Madness. Walking in this flooded gangway from hell itself. Look at that. It's like an Armageddon cloud. WTF. Whoa. It's like when a volcano goes boom. Look at that. Hopefully I don't drop this camera. Floods out. Walking down this flooded gangway. Picking up this huge dirt cloud, mud cloud, whatever the hell, and the water goes to the roof. So that's the limit of advance down this gangway. Just a better look where the gangway completely floods out. And this is what happened. They used to pump all the water out of the mines. Obviously the mine closes, they turn the pumps off. The original aquifer level returns. So this mine undoubtedly would be many hundreds of feet vertical, deeper than this. But it's all filled with water now. So I think this actually slopes down. And that could just be a reflection on the bottom but it might not be, that might be a lot deeper. So I'm definitely turning around. My light just died. Luckily I always carry two. I have a ton of batteries. That's why you don't come into a mine with one flashlight as you just saw, because the worst possible time, like being submerged, it will go out. So just came from there. And a very typical type of roof for this mine. We're just coming down in slabs. And we found a coal car holding a collapsed roof up. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't imagine how heavy that roof is. Oh my, you can see the rail being disintegrated by the acid mine drainage. Look at that. This is utter insanity. It's a steel five ton coal car, most likely a five ton coal car. And it's holding a massive roof collapse up. You can see that gray up there, that's indicative of a recent collapse too, because it's not weathered. It doesn't have all that acid mine drainage. So this is the voidage of the collapse. <coughs> and the coal car. And what makes it extra insane, top center portion of the coal car, that's a compressed timber. And it looks like there's a cap board like a wedge and it just got squished <laughs> it got like two-dimensional almost so what you're seeing here is usually a good indicator as to what is a fresh cave-in as opposed to an old cave-in or roof fall you can see how the rest of the roof is all orange and acid mine drainage and that is fresh. However, it doesn't look like it is fresh. So sometimes it's not 100% going off of this. 
because this is actually an old roof collapse. But they cleaned it up back in the day when they were working the mud. So back in the day, this is the only light they had to illuminate their mining operations. It's a flame lamp. This is how good it looks in the modern era. I'm standing at the bottom of an internal rock slope. So, what a rock slope is, it's an internal slope driven through solid rock, mainly for haulage of coal. And they drove it through solid rock for stability. Look at those collars. Wow. That's my friend going up and out. Unfortunately, most of this mine is like this. It's all mucky with acid mine drainage. And this stuff does poison the natural aquifer. It's pretty looking, but it's toxic. There's a small gob wall right there. Small timber set back in the gob wall. Little intersection split. They call it a Y. One goes to the right. One goes to the left. Very low vein. Cannot stand up in this. This is to the right of that Y intersection. And these tippers go a ways back, but I'm not going back there. Doesn't look fun. Low and miserable, cramped and wet, sloppy acid mine drainage. Look at that mold or something. Almost looks like a tree sapling growing out of this timber. Weird. So I'm pretty far in this mud. Here's the leftmost part of that Y intersection. You can see there's collapse back there from pillar robbing. To the right is a pillar. There's a lack of pillar right there, and that's what happens. The roof comes down. Everywhere in this mine goes a collapse back there. Roof to floor collapse. Collapse here. And the roof of this tunnel, gangway, you can see their drill marks. How cool is that? From the drill still. My hat's off to the old timers because look at this, just swapping out my through night batteries. You can see how difficult it is for lighting conditions. Just using a flame lamp. I already did a lot of route recon down here can see these old workings it just goes back again low vein I am not crawling in there nope groundwater has completely flooded out the old rail bed see my lamp for scale Air's good, no black damper methane. 
digital is saying 20.6. So it's like 0.2 to 0.3% depletion, but we're okay. Came out of that sloppy water. Very standard looking low gangway in an anthracite coal mine. Low with a sloppy bottom. Gobbing off to the right, gobbing off to the left where they pulled the coal supports. That timber's seen better days. Whoa. Yeah, look how mucky this is. Not fun. It's work. Literal work. Track ties. That was for wire rope. It was a guide to the left of my lamp. That was so the wire rope didn't rub into the wall. What did the uh, lunch lady and Billy Madison with Adam Sandler say when she was serving the sloppy joes to him? I know you like them extra sloppy. And he goes, lady, you're scaring us. Well, it's sloppy down here, man. Ugh. Like acid mine drainage quicksand. Luckily there's a rock bottom so you don't slip any further. So the gangway continues right there. But look at these side workings. They just go. There's where I came from. Sloppy section. Up here beyond this collapse is something really special. And this was the gangway, kind of does like an S shape. It's gonna be cool. So there it is, a metal colliery coal mine car where the roof has come down on top of it and the coal car is holding the roof up. You can see the scale with my mine lamp. Unbelievable. There's a bug, so we know the air is good. Well, we know the air is good because of my mine lamp, but I'm always happy to see bugs down here. It's always a welcome sight. But um, <clears throat> if they could live down here, I could live. But uh, wow. Believe it or not, I've seen a number of coal mine cars that are completely pancaked by roof collapse, and I've seen similar circumstances just like this one here. But this one's cool because it's intact. So yeah, they pulled the coal supports, the pillars. Like there's a pillar right there in between the roof and where that wiring is, just a little bit back from there. That's actually anthracite coal. They build the gobbing to hold where they pull the coal pillars out of. And yeah, the roof came down. So here's a slab. There's the new roof. Gobbing, collapse, new roof. Coal mine car. <laughs> oh my God. That's so deadly. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not going under that. Sorry. There's tracks still in place, at least on the left side and the right side, just buried actually can see the timbers are still in play, which is weird because they're not pancaked. So I don't know what's going on here because that's a lot of voidage up there. How did it flatten those timbers? I don't know. My friend pointed that out. He's right. Interesting. Because those should be pancaked. Those should be two-dimensional almost. I love that timber in the center part of the coal mine car with the wedge on top of it where it was in place and it just pancaked down on top of the coal mine car. So yeah, this steel coal mine car is load bearing <laughs> structurally for the mine roof and it's held. That's the remarkable aspect. 
I'm not crawling under that collapse. Nope, no way. It's further delaminated up there. It can come down at any point. No way. I'm still not under that collapse because that's just not happening. Man, that's even splitting there. I can see that that coal car's pushing out on the sides from the pressure. This is the new mine roof above the coal mine car. Damn, those cracks. That's why you don't go under cavens. Wow, it's bad. This angle will give you a better idea as to what's going on. The collapse and how the coal mine car is holding up the collapse. So the anthracite coal mine car is essentially a big piece of gob wall now. <laughs> wow. All right, coal mine car, You're way too cool. I appreciate you. As I'm smacking my head on the roof here, hoping it doesn't come down. I've often thought how peculiar it is that I like to come down here and explore and have fun. It's like my thing. And how I'm sure these guys absolutely hated coming here. Not all. Leonard Solzinski, the miner I knew that worked with my grandfather and great-grandfathers at the Dorns Collar actually liked it. But I'm sure the majority didn't, because look at these conditions. Sloppy, dark, they didn't have lighting like this. Low pay, breathing in coal dust, but they probably think I'm such a freak for coming down here and enjoying this. They'd be like, why? Just stay home or do anything else. Why would you come down here? But I feel like I have to document this history because it's forgotten, overlooked, not cared about at all anymore. And I want to tell their story. You have to be so careful walking in anything water-filled. So you fall down, the light gets submerged, you get submerged, you drown. Now, usually off to the side here where I'm shining my light, there were water troughs for draining the gangways and tunnels, but... I test it out, there's no troughs here. Do not want to fall in a deep pit of water in an abandoned mine. That's really cool. Look at the track, the bent track. It's almost like an egg shape. Wow, didn't notice that before. Interesting. I am crouched, really crouched over, maybe four feet high, and coal cars came ripping through here. So that's how dangerous it is too, when you were working. Because if you're in the small confined tunnel with coal haulage, meaning cars are loaded, coming ripping through here, and you're not paying attention, you don't really have anywhere to retreat to. And again, no lighting like this. So a lot of people are crushed by coal cars. There's an air compressor pipe for powering their tools. That's a wire rope. Roller, center portion going vertical is a piece of metal holding it in place. And it's anchored to the bottom. And there's just literally like a metal drum and that would just rotate when the wire rope hit it. And it kept it off this gob wall because it would break that cable and it could also cause collapse. It could cut into coal pillars or knock out the gobbing, which was structural. So it was for safety of the wire rope and the structural integrity of the mine.
a short but very fat timber. Interesting. Here's one of those wire rope rollers, drums, whatever you want to call it. Man, that thing's seen better days. So I'd be looking straight ahead. Look how steep that is, sloping up. Along with those stalagmites, stalactites. Awesome acid mine drainage stalactites. Luckily, a slope doesn't go up too far. Maybe 100, 150 foot. Because she is steep. That's a cool pipe. Oh, wire rope. Still going down the slope. We're pulling coal cars up and down. That's neat. It's a lot of work create this solid rock it's not shale or coal this is in the floor of the slope look at that from their tools when they were creating it wow there's more of that wire rope going up and out Getting near the top of the slope, you can see the track ties and the wire rope actually cut into them. And that's why those rollers were invented. But they destroy the ties and the wire rope actually grinds into the rock and makes indentations. See what I mean with the wire rope eating away at the track ties? That's not good. Defeats the purpose of the track tie, and you kind of need that to keep the rail together. Almost to the very top of the sloop. So I made it up top of the slope, and these are the workings closer to the entrance. They're very standard looking. Gobbing here on your left, gangway. So there's a tunnel there, tunnel there, go up, tunnel there, tunnel there. It's just a network, like a honeycomb. This is interesting though. This is top of the slope looking down. Interesting. Pretty photogenic. So to the bottom of that and to the right, about maybe like a fifth of a mile, that's where that coal car is, that's under the collapse. And then up here, there's like a small working. But wow. Interesting. Coal shovel that saw better days. And we, you know, the wire rope has broken. Yeah, I'm not crawling up there. That low working off the slope. I'm good. <laughs> that doesn't look fun. Every tunnel in this mine, unfortunately, goes to collapse. So there's a pillar on your right, collapse on your left, and then it continues down. I'll show you how bad it gets. This mine's in very bad condition. It's right off this gangway. You can just see roof collapse. Not a safe one. I'm not going any further beyond this point. 
You can see line rail sticking out of that collapse. Just real bad rock strata. A lot of clay on the bottom. Interesting weathering of the coal. Doesn't even look like coal. And it just goes to collapse. So you probably wonder why this mine's in such bad condition. Well, they knew the gig was up, and when they did, everything was going to be permanently closed. They started in the back of the mine, they just pulled all the coal pillars, which actually held the roof up out. And that's why right off of the main gangways, it's collapsed right into like the first working or second working. So they purposely destroyed all these mines in a sense to get at the uh, easy coal. And they knew they would never be coming back. Nice gobbing though, to the left and right. And that is holding up the roof. You can see here how the roof's gonna come down. Delaminated. It's going from that gobbing to that gobbing. That's why it's being held up, just from that gobbing. So I'm not going to go back beyond that. Not going to chance it. That's really cool, actually. Look at how that wire rope is stuck in that piece of wood. You can see above it where there's other <laughs> indentations. But that's still frozen in time in that piece of wood. So when you first come into the mine, this is the view to your immediate right. It's an old gangway. Damn, that's a sketchy collapse. From doing this hobby for so long, you pick up on subtle little things while underground. This is one such pretty cool thing. So this is a set of tracks here that went down the gangway. And here's another set of tracks that went down the gangway. And they met up right here. And here's where their ties met. <laughs> That's cool. And then they transitioned into one set of rail. So there would be a switch here, undoubtedly. How's this for collapse? Whoa. Y-intersection. This is the rightmost part. Collapsed. To the left of the Y. Collapsed. Yep, I'm not getting past that. Here's a close-up of that leftmost collapse. I'm not gonna get any closer for obvious reasons. Whoa, that's bad. See the gob wall on the right? And that's the right-hand side collapse still see the rail popping out. That's neat. Probably the first person in a long time to have a Kohler safety flame lamp down here. And there's the way out eventually. Man, that sucks. You can see how the leaves blew in. That's a terrifying looking old miner's glove. The weathering process down here, I've not been kind to it. Wow, look at the rock strata, how scary it is in the entrance. Almost like a anticline. It's weird. An interesting strata. Unfortunately, that's what you gotta crawl through.
I've never seen an entrance like this. Yikes. Tree roots. Oh my. More tree roots. Yep, that's a crazy strata. And that's the way down into the mine itself. Wait until the gangway drops down into it. I'm not even really wide enough to fit through that. Well, I hope I'll make it out. Dude, just coming out of this mine, I smack my skull. I stand up. And I fucking smacked my skull so motherfucking hard on this trunk. 